How are you doing? There's my boot. My big Kmart boots. How you doing, everybody? Dave TV reporting for duty, sir. It's the 19th of December, 2013. So yesterday, I, I think I posted this on Facebook, but I'll repeat it. I go out to my front stoop down the stairs there and pick up my Washington Post, and it's a big, fat paper. And I'm thinking, it's, it's Wednesday. Why is the paper so big and fat? And I noticed the, there's a whole bunch of circulars in the paper, you know, and there's, you know, the typical circulars that you get on a Wednesday, like the grocery stores and stuff like that. And <laughs> I noticed there's a big wad, can I say that word, a wad of circulars from five below. And I count them, 46 circulars from five below. So I guess the machine that shoves the circulars into the whatever put 46 in <laughs> So five below, if I got 46, and there's probably 46 people that didn't get there. So I'm not, I never go to five below. I don't even know where there what is one. It's one, you know, not store I go to. So, hey, your advertising dollar just got shredded there at the Washington Post. <laughs> um, okay, so today's big story. Well, it's not really that big of a story. The big mystery was what is WMAO going to do with their afternoons? Um for years and years and years and years, WMAL has basically just had a morning show, live and local morning show with, um, you know, a whole bunch of different people. You remember um, Fred Grandy and Andy Parks for many years and uh, Bill Press was on it for a while and all these different people. And then uh, eventually now it's it was um, Brian Neem in there for a while and now they have Larry O'Connor. And they have uh, Brian Wilson doing the show. We call it Mornings on the Mall. Mauled, yeah, mauling you in the mornings. <clears throat> and, uh, and then they do uh, Chris Plant's bizarre nut job show. And then that's it. At 12 o'clock noon, WMAL just basically shuts the door. That's all the local programming we're doing today. And then they just plug into the satellite till 5 a.m. the next morning. So from noon to 5 a.m., it's all just plugged in on the satellite. I mean, they do some local news and stuff like that, but there's no local shows. Between noon and 5 a.m., there's nothing, there's no local programming on WMAL on a typical weekday. So the news now, you know, that came out a couple months ago that Sean Hannity is, uh, you know, beginning kicked off of Cumulus' stations because of a contractual thing. You, you know, Cumulus is basically really super cheap and they don't want to pay. Um, whatever, you know, Sean Hannity doesn't get the greatest ratings. It hasn't in a while. And, you know, his, his numbers in Washington, I mean, 17th, 18th place, something like that, you know, in afternoon drive, which isn't that great. So, you know, Cumulus is probably rightfully to say, hey, we're tired of paying through the nose for you for these not so great ratings. We're going to bring Michael Savage over and put Michael Savage they, they signed Michael Savage to a deal, and they're putting Michael Savage on the afternoon drive of a lot of their talk stations. Well, here in Washington, you know, and I know the folks over there at WMAL, really, you know, you, if you want to build ratings, you need to have live and local morning and afternoon drives at the minimum. You know, the rest of the day, the middays, the evenings, the weekends, the overnights, you can farm out to syndicated stuff. But the minimum you need, you know, that's generally thought, you know, for, for local, to be considered a local station, is to have a morning and afternoon drive local shows. And I know that there was a lot of consternation there between Cumulus, I keep calling them a Citadel, Cumulus and, um, you know, um, WMAL as to what they were going to do with it. So it seems like they've caught some kind of middle ground here, okay? Um, apparently what we're hearing is that uh, WMAL is going to carry Michael Savage, between three and five. Now, Sean Hannity was carried between three and six for three hours. They're going to carry Michael Savage from three to five and then do an hour at five o'clock of a local show with Larry O'Connor. Okay, so Larry is not only going to do the morning show, which goes from five in the morning to nine, he's also going to do an afternoon show from five to six. So now Larry obviously gets up at what? two or three in the morning to get into WMAL, you know, a little early so he can plan out his morning show. 
and work till nine. I guess he's going to go home and take a nap. <laughs> Come back in at five and do another hour to six and get home at seven or eight and go to bed till two and get up. I mean, what a horrible schedule. <laughs> But at least they're doing an hour of local stuff at, at, in the afternoons. I guess that's a step in the right direction. I think it would be better if WMAL, maybe if they put Michael Savage on from 3 to 4 and then went from 4 to 6 with a, you know, you know, either move Larry to afternoons and replace him in the mornings or put somebody new in afternoons. You know, do something like that. That would work. But I don't know. This splitting Larry up like that, it's going to be crazy. I... I don't know. Phony, phony ringing. Let's see who's calling on the phone. Call Dallas area code. Who'd be calling me from Dallas? 214. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyhow, um, so anyhow, I don't know. I, I think that's a small step in the right direction. I think WMAL needs to, and I think they really want to over there, open that up and make... Um, a full-fledged afternoon drive show, low, live and local, say from 4 to 6, 4 to 7, 3 to 6, something like that. And at least it's a tiny step in the right direction, but I do think it's kind of a very tiny step, and I don't know how much good that's going to do. I can't imagine, I cannot imagine that Michael Savage is going to get higher ratings than in, than um, Sean Hannity did. Sean is, eh, his ratings weren't that hot anyhow. And I really think, you know, this is the news capital, Washington, with all the stuff going on here. There is so much to talk about. You know, they could easily fill a two or three hour show up in the afternoons on WMEL. And I think it's kind of a um, half-assed thing here to do a, an hour long show with Larry O'Connor. You know, they're obviously trying to minimize the budget by not hiring anybody new. And I don't know. It's just, you know, somebody said to me they need to hire Michael Steele. Okay, former RNC chairman, and he ran for the he ran, was lieutenant governor of Maryland for a while. He's a moderate Republican. Have him paired with Brian Wilson in the mornings. Okay, that would be a nice pairing. And they they did that last week when he was vacate with the vacationing Larry O'Connor, and that seemed to work out really well. And then take Larry O'Connor and move him into afternoons and pair him maybe with somebody else, you know, and then have a two at least a two hour show, maybe three, you know. Put Savage on from, say, you know, three to four, and then have them do, you know, four to six, and maybe then, you know, I, I don't know. You know, Michael Sa keep Michael Savage, maybe have him do three to four, and then keep that evening slot, and, you know, just t tape delay it or whatever, and, but, but have at least a two-hour show there with Larry O'Connor and somebody else doing, say, uh, four to six, something like that, and not sharing Larry in the mornings because that's going to, I mean, you know, even though he is kind of a dim bulb, you know, can you imagine him seriously sleep deprived? I mean, it's going to be even worse. Ay, 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 So Fishbowl DC breaks this big news this morning. Washington Times cuts 11. You know, now that would be big news, but, you know, but you think, Nobody reads the Washington Times anymore. It's a it's an afterthought. You know, it's a terrible newspaper. I hate their website. You know, one of the things about the Washington po the Washington Times website, you go to. I hope I said Washington Times, not Washington Post. I meant Washington Times. I'm who knows what I'm saying at the time. I don't even know. But you go to the Washington Times website, and they have these like little green underlined things, and they're just bizarre little ad links. You know, it'll say something like. The central bank has decided to raise the interest rates, and central bank will have green, will be underlined in green. Like you think, if I click on central bank, it's going to take me to a story about more central bank stuff. But instead, it pops up to an ad. And as you see that all over, I think that's terrible. It's a crappy website. Ugh. I did that once or twice, and these ads just pop up, and I'm going, that's just dumb. <laughs> Look. Nobody reads the Washington Times. It's an afterthought. It's a has-been paper. Eleven people gone from a newspaper that nobody reads. So what? You know? <laughs> Seriously, folks. Uh, and a redesigned website to boot. You know, that there's only there's you know, it's there's only one person who the only people who think the Washington Times is anything worth writing about anymore is the Washington Times. They they still seem to think they're a uh, a you know, it's a nothing paper, man. 
It's a nothing pepper. Bob Madigan, who's leaving as a WF. What a great job. What a perfect job to have. The man about town at WTOP Radio. Can you imagine being that job? I mean, you just go to functions and you know drink wine and party and everything and report about it. Anyhow, Bob Madigan is leaving WTOP, which we told you about. They had a nice little going away party for him at a local pub the other night. Well, apparently he's going to be the guest with um, Arch Campbell on Arch Campbell's show. Do watch Arch if you're in the Washington area. News Channel 8, 8.30 p.m. Thursdays and Fridays at 9 p.m. Saturdays. It's a great show. Arch is a wonderful guy, and he has a really funny show. And it's, it's one of the only things on local television that isn't news. You know, in the olden days, there used to be local programming at TV stations. You know, they don't do that anymore. The only local programming at TV stations are newscasts. That's about it anymore. And, and Arch actually has a little funny little comedy variety show there on News Channel 8. So check that out. Uh, News Channel 8, 8.30, Thursday, 8.30, Friday, 9 o'clock, Saturdays. And you can catch Bob Madigan, who's a really cool guy, talking about his plans to retire and head up to Maine. <sighs> Maine. Ah, uh, where it's cold and damp. <laughs> well, at least in the winter, anyway. All right, folks, uh, don't forget to help support DCR TV. Uh, you know, it's, it, this is the time of the year where we're we say what we're thankful for. And I know all of you are so desperately thankful for DCR TV. Uh, do send us a few bucks. You know, again, you know, the only reason we've been here for 16 years, 16 friggin' years, is because of you. Thank you. I take a bow. I will, uh... Lick your boots. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for this. Um, 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 um,